Welcome back IB Economics students to this video lecture now on cost theory a very very important concept for microeconomics and theory of the firm so in cost theory we're going to be looking at a few major things the first thing is average fixed cost the second one is average variable cost a uh, total cost average total cost average variable cost average total cost and marginal cost for cost theory you really have to be able to know what these are and you have to be able to calculate them okay so what does these look like and what do they actually mean okay so when they ask you to calculate these they'll usually give you quantity of labor which in, which is usually the variable factor so it increases by one uh, la one labor quantity by each um each variable and this will give us the total product and from from this total product we can see um economies of scale we could also see uh, what we call is um e economy scale and the law of diminishing returns so when we hire one employee we we have more total product produced two we have even one three we have even more four uh three to four is basically the maximum um um rule before the law of diminishing return kicks in and after four five to eight we have seen the decreasing um decreasing law the, the decreasing diminishing returns okay so the total product means that at one quantity of labor we have 10 total products produced at two we have 25 at um six we have 105 total products produced vice versa so this is quite self-explanatory usually um the question will give you these two the average fixed cost refers to the fixed cost regardless of how many quantity is produced okay so regardless of, of whether or not you have any hired laborers regardless of how many uh, of goods you produce you are still going to be paying the total fixed cost therefore the name suggests that it's a fixed cost perhaps the fixed cost is your rent and then and then your rent is a contract therefore you cannot change your rent regardless of how many uh, um units of the good you produce or regardless of how many quantity of of, of labor you have therefore the total fixed cost is always fixed okay as the name suggests so um, for these three columns it's actually quite self-explanatory the quantity of labor is the variable factor that which changes increases in, in increments of one quantity of labor the total product increases at a rate and then reaches diminishing marginal returns which is in, uh, increases with economies of scale and it reaches diminishing marginal returns therefore decreasing the, uh, the diminishing returns of scale and the total fixed cost is always the same because it is total fixed okay the total variable cost on the other hand is is the cost that increases as your variable factor changes so in this case our variable factor is labor so as the labor changes from zero to one our total variable cost changes from zero to 200. so from this we could see that for each increase in labor we have to pay 200 dollars. okay so remember the the unit is in dollars um, most of these units besides the marginal cost is in dollars. So um, so for each additional unit of labor, for each additional unit of the variable factor added, our total variable cost increases from 200 to 400 to 600 to 800 to 1,000 and, and, and so on. Therefore, the total variable cost shows uh, shows um, um, the, the cost that changes or the cost that increases as um, the total of um, the, the variable factor increases, the variable factor changes. Now, the first thing we need to calculate, the, usually the first thing we have to calculate is the total cost. How do we calculate total cost? Now, a very, very, very simple um, formula. So total cost equals um, total equals total fixed cost plus total variable cost. Okay, So the total cost refers to all of the costs combined. So all of the costs... Um, of, of the firm to operate refers to the total fixed cost, which is 400, plus the total variable cost. So, so the first column will be 400 because 400 plus zero is 400. The second one will be six, uh, will be um, 600. Third one, 800, uh, uh, 10, uh, 1,000, 1,200, 1,400, 1,600, 1,800, and 2,000, okay? So this is the total cost of operation. And, and how do we get the total cost of operation? By adding the total fixed cost by the total variable cost. Okay, so that should be also rather uh, self-explanatory. You should be able to understand what the total cost refers to. The total cost refers to all of the costs, all of the costs, whether it is totally fixed or whether it is total, uh, uh, whether it is variable. Okay, for the average cost, what is the average cost? Okay, what, how, how do we calculate the average cost? So, so the average total cost 
uh, is a little bit different than the average fixed cost. The average total cost equals the total cost divided by quantity output. Okay, so um, we have total product. So total cost divided by total quantity by total quantity. So what do we get for the first one? The first one we don't have anything. So therefore, it, we leave it blank. Okay, we leave it blank. We leave it blank. For the second one, we have forty. Okay, so forty. Uh, 16, uh, 8.89, 5.71, 4.44, 3.81, 3.81, 3.48, and 3.33. So here we can see the average fixed cost. Now, of course, the average fixed cost is calculated uh, is calculated by the total cost divided by the quantity output. Okay, the so total cost divided by quantity output by Q. And also, it's important to note that quantity output equals the total product. Okay, so that's how we got these numbers for the fixed cost. Now, what is the average variable cost? The average variable cost also has a very similar, very very similar, um, uh. Uh, equation. So average fixed cost refers to a total uh, fixed cost divided by quantity and of course the same thing quantity uh, equals equals total product. And uh, when, when, when looking at um, average variable cost, it is also very similar the calculations is also really similar to average total cost. So for average um, so average variable cost we have a 20, we have 16. We have 20, we have 16, and for, uh, and for uh, the variable unit of 3, we have 13.33, we have 11.43, we have 11. Point, um, we have 11.11, we have 11.43, we have 12.47, uh, 12.17, and then we have 13.33. Uh, Okay. So this is the average variable cost calculated with the formula total fixed cost divided by quantity. Quantity equals is equal to the total product of, 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 of production. Okay, the total product of production. So average total cost. Okay, what is average total cost? We already have that. We already have average total cost. Uh, yeah. Marginal cost. Okay, marginal cost is a little bit tricky. How do we calculate marginal cost? So the marginal cost, we do, um, we do uh, changes. Okay, so marginal cost equals um, the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. Okay, it's not percentage change like elasticity. It is just change. So how do we calculate that? So so the change in total cost. Um, between uh, 0 and 1 is uh, is 200 and the change in, uh, in quantities produced is 10 okay so that gives us the, the change of 220 okay so so the next thing was we'll do the same the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity gives us 13.33 gives us 10 uh, gives us 8 gives us 10. Uh, gives us 13.33 gives us 20 gives us 40. Okay, so that's 40. So what we will see from the marginal cost is that it has a very, very peculiar line. So in, in our next uh, in our next syllabus section, we're going to be looking at all of these graphs. But for the marginal cost, this is what this is what their curve looks like. That, I don't want it to be squiggly. But this is what the curve looks like. It, it goes down and then it comes up. It starts off at 20, it goes down to 13, to 10, to 8, which is at the bottom point. It goes up to 10, 13, 33, and 40. So this is what the marginal cost curve would look like. So um, this is the calculation part, the calculation section of what uh, ATC, a, um, uh, of what T, uh, total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost, average fixed cost, average variable cost, uh, average total cost and marginal cost will look like when it is uh, calculated. So I hope this um, short lecture is helpful in explaining how um, explaining how cost theory is and how cost theory works. And I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.